what is up beach bumps welcome back to the beach thanks for tuning back into the channel today i'm doing a little bit of pompano fishing we are in our quote unquote fall run i've been gone for the past week so i'm trying to figure things back out once again every time i leave for like two or three days i feel completely and totally out of the loop and i've been gone for a full week so that just completely throws me off but what we're trying to do trying to catch some pompano for dinner we're going to try to do a catch and cook i already have a restaurant in mind because we are in our restaurant tour series right now so i know where i'm going but i'm not going to show you until we actually catch a fish and we get there but we're using our single drop pompano rigs and just using a piece of fresh dead shrimp uh, with fish bites this is the sampley flavor and then on this rig over here i've got shrimp flavor but i've got it in the green kind of sartreuse color and i may get rigged up with another rig over here throw out three i don't know just so i can test different depths like i like to do because i haven't been fishing in over a week which feels like an eternity water looks pretty good uh it's a little rough we do have a cold front moving in that's going to be here tomorrow sometime but it's a little bit chopped up water color looks pretty good it's got a nice green tint to it but it looks decent for pompano no complaints also as a nice surprise for you guys i've talked a lot about the ninja tackle dagger rod this is what i've been using a lot uh, which i may get rigged up here in a minute with a pompano rig i've got it tied with a carolina rig for cut bait but this is the 11 foot model uh, ninja tackle it has been kind enough to offer you guys 10 percent off of these rods if you use the code bama njt so use that promo code you'll get 10 percent off these rods i got a link in the description to their website so that you can go hook it up stellar rod if you've been following the channel you know that i love it been using it a lot that thing will fling a bait can't get enough of it you need to get you what it's a good rod all right i might be a little bit rusty casted it's been a minute so uh, hopefully i can sling her out there I need to test my drag all right yeah we're a little loose and these waves are loud dad gum oh get it out there go 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 all right water's a wee bit chilly it's chilly it's cooled off since i was here last and we got i mean a mega cold front coming tomorrow it's going to be dropping down to the 20s 20s that's cold i don't care where you're from i don't care if you're from wisconsin 20s it's cold it's cold update i've been out here nearing an hour and uh so far nothing but some small whiting maybe half a dozen tides coming in which is good we like that for pompano but maybe half a dozen whiting one catfish and that is it my friends pretty slow go i was uh i was kind of hoping wishing ahead of this front that's about to come through that things would be just firing off out here maybe as the sun comes down and we get a little closer to dark maybe things will start happening decent hit decent hit decent hit okay 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 oh swimming fast come on come on ah. oh it's a big whiting wow okay and got tangled in my other line somehow decent whiting that's uh he, he would eat i have been keeping whiting for bait though so i'm gonna throw him in the cooler i've got a few trips this week so we're gonna try to collect some bait for that we are nearing sunset the set rigs have uh not been real productive caught some whiting caught a couple of decent whiting since we haven't gotten our target species yet which there's still hope this is uh we're getting into prime time i'm throwing the diamond jig i'm seeing if there's any blue fish oh look at there oh i caught a sand flea on there <laughs> you're gonna see if there's any blue fish hanging around i will cook a blue fish uh, if we can find them okay we got a fish we got a fish oh crap oh crap oh crap okay oh this feels like it is a fish oh yeah come on stay on stay on this might be it stay on stay on oh he's still swimming i think we might have it at the buzzer oh man he's swimming so freaking fast so freaking fast <sighs> oh and he's tiny dang it <sighs> target species he's probably legal 
Let's see. If we can get two, two small ones, that'll work. This one's probably 12. Man, itty bitty guy. We'll cook them. Yeah, that was 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter, almost 12 and a half. That is a legal pompadour. <laughs> oh, he's tiny. But, uh, okay, well, maybe they'll start hitting. If we can get one more, we'll have enough for me and my wife. This is uh, even a small pompano. That's plenty of meat. They've got a uh, pretty high yield on these fish, so that would be plenty for, for me. But let's see if we can get one more from my wife. Maybe, maybe this is the, the power hour. Oh, yeah, heavier fish for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I know the camera angle's bad. I'm just trying to get these fish in. Okay, here we go. Feels like a much better fish. Much, oh man, woo! Darting in, darting in, darting in. Come on, come on. There he is, still got him, still got him. Oh, what? Toad whiting. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a pump for sure. Just a boss whiting, oh my goodness. Right here at dark, things are starting to get interesting. It is getting dark. I think that's going to wrap it up on the beach. I think, woo, water's coming in. <laughs> I was squatting in the water. I think we will go ahead and do the catch and cook. We'll, we'll use that small pompano. I'll add in some of the whiting that we caught just to make sure that we have enough food for me and the wife. Since we have at least one that we can use to cook for the pompano, we will use it. Oh, we're getting a bite right now. I think it was a catfish. It's definitely Catfish 30. I'm gonna take these to the house, get them cleaned up, and we'll see you at the restaurant. This is definitely the smallest pompano I would ever keep. It was 12 and a quarter inch, which, you know, obviously if they're touching 12, they're legal, but fish do tend to shrink up on ice, so I wanna make sure you at least get a quarter inch, half an inch before you'd ever keep it. I wanted to make sure we had a fish for the catch and cook, so we have accomplished that, and we're gonna use some of that whiting from my wife so that she has some fish to eat. But pompano do have some head meat. And I'm gonna try to make these cuts. It's kind of hard by myself. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. But uh, pompano do have head meat. So I do cut around the gill plate and up into the head right there. So hopefully, yeah, I think you should have been able to see that. And then once we cut in that head meat, just like anything else, we're gonna just run our knife just along that backbone, just a little ways into that fish, just to kind of start our cut. Once I remove that filet, come back in and just get those rib bones out. I do cut through it. They're pretty small, so they're easy to cut through. And then just removing the skin, which this is the hardest part with pompano. They don't like to take the skin off the meat. Uh, a lot of times I do leave some skin on there and it's just, it's not the end of the world, but you do have to kind of go back and remove it. So hopefully we'll see if I can do an okay job on this one. A lot of people leave it at this point, um, depending on how you're cooking it. A lot of people do leave skin on or even cook the pompano whole. So I know a lot of you in the comments will say, don't do this. But <laughs> for most of my clients and for, for me and my wife, I generally do skin the pompano. All right, I did a pretty good job left just a little bit of skin right there not too bad at all and they do have a section of pin bones in this bloodline and on a bigger pompano generally i will remove this bloodline but since this is a smaller fish i'm going to leave it intact and since we're eating it fresh uh, usually that bloodline is still not very fishy so there's just a small section of pin bones i think like five in there but have a nice fillet even on a small fish uh, this is a nice 
size fillet it'll feed you know if you go to a restaurant this is about all you're going to get for, for one person. So technically you could probably feed two people uh, with this, with the portions that you get. We landed on docks this time. A lot of you have recommended it. I've actually, I don't know that I've ever, maybe I've eaten at docks once. I can't remember yeah. for sure. You've been here? Not, Courtney said she's been here. Not this location. They have two locations. This one, this one's new. I think we're still in Orange Beach. Right? Yeah. Orange Beach. This is on Beach Road, like the main road. And then they have one on Canal Road as well, which is like their original location. We've got the girls with us. We've got Annalise and Courtney, our taste testers. Do you eat it? Mm, mm. Can you say hey? Can you tell them hey? So here's their catch and cook deal. $16.99 per person. Choice of two sides, corn, slaw, fries, and baby potato or baby potato says they fixed some fried, so I don't know if you can only get it fried here. We're gonna ask, but we'll see what options they give us. So you do get three options. They do fried, blackened, or grilled, so it's not just fried. I did mine grilled. Courtney's going fried. I think we're gonna probably get fried at each place we go. I mean, that's pretty standard fried fish. Give you a good taste test of what theirs is like. At least do you like fried fish? You like fried fish? Do you like fried fish? It's your favorite, isn't it? So good. Especially with ketchup. Mmm. You already made a mess. We haven't even got food yet. You got crackers everywhere. <gasps> Say uh-oh. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good. You got it grilled or blackened? Grilled. Just grilled? Yep. So that's grilled. Oh, you're still in the hot puppy. Back. <laughs> that's the fried. Oh, sorry. Looking pretty good. It does look good. So it does come with hush puppies. Coleslaw, I'll get you some. Here, and put, then your put choice put of potato or fries, but you can substitute the coleslaw, which we did on this Woo! one, for fries to give to Annalise. So this is the grill. That's the pompano there on top. We got some whiting on bottom just to make sure we had enough fish. So is and this then, my pompano? Yeah, that's your pompano fried. So we did split it up so that we can try the pompano <laughs> with both ways. Annalise. Courtney's making her potato while she is. I'm gonna go ahead and try the grilled pompano and it looks really good check that out omg it's gonna be delicious <laughs> love it pompano is so stinking good such a good fish all right can i give you a bite you ready pompano grilled Good. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. All right, here goes the fried. Which pompano, I generally don't recommend fried, but I know a lot of people probably eat it that way. It's good. I like it. Dig it? Thumbs yeah. up? Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. That's just the breading. <laughs> no, no, yeah, there's like no fish there. Oh, yeah, good, good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Can you give a thumbs up to thumbs the camera? Up? Thumbs up. Good job. Good job. All right, I'm gonna get a bite of this fried pompano, which I've had it fried before, but I always recommend because it's such a good fish that you bake it, grill it. Um, it's such a good fish you want to be able to taste it. It's good. I will say their fried fish is good. It's classic. If you like classic, basic fried fish, this is your spot. But I think, personally, I think some of the other places we've been, I've liked it a little bit better, if I'm being honest. But it's good, it's classic. It's got, it's like cornmeal, flour, basic. If you, you know, and I, she, Courtney made her own cocktail sauce with her horseradish. Probably makes a difference. I don't eat that stuff. They did give us some hush puppies, so we gotta do a hush puppy taste test. Hush puppies are very good. Money. This is what a delicious hush, pu hush puppy looks like. <laughs> Savoring the moment. <laughs> oh, say, oh, look how good. Mmm. Mmm, that's pompano. She's eating it like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah.
another successful catch and cook at the restaurant. Oh, Annalise, tell them bye-bye. Tell them bye-bye. Look, up there, tell them bye-bye. Say bye-bye. If I had to use one word to describe Doc's, it would be classic. Like, just classic, basic, good fish. You know, not, not anything fancy, not anything different. Uh... Good, good home cooking, you know? Yeah? Yeah. It's a good description. Home cooking. You know, like, if you were to cook it yourself at home, easy, probably be the way to go. So, I, you know, I, it, it's good. It's it's probably not my first choice of the places that we've been thus far. Uh, we've only been to, this is our third one. But good. I did like how they did their sides. I like the fact that you could get a baked potato uh, and that you could sub the coleslaw, because I'm not a coleslaw eater, for the fries. That was pretty sweet. So if you like a lot of carbs, this place for you. <laughs> if you have any ideas of other places that we can go, just let me know in the comments below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.